This is Ice Cream Gecko and today's video is for the Aldi Baguette Hähnchen, the Baguette Chicken, ready-made baguette. <laughs> 1.99 in euros is what I paid for it and I, you know, to be honest with you, um, I haven't been to Aldi in, in quite a while, but I've recently started going there again uh, just because it's a lot simpler. There's not so much to choose from. I, I do have a hard time deciding on things and they start to implement um, more brand ice cream into their into their regular lineup as well so I don't really have to go to a Globus or to a more expensive market I can just go there and it's not far either and they've got decent parking spaces and this Aldi's are always clean and the cashiers are nice or well reserved but then if they are reserved they're quick so <laughs> Aldi is great. I love Aldi. <laughs> so I'll try this out because they, they have been doing some things to change up their, their image quite a bit. You know, they are remodernizing all of their all of their markets and they're introducing all sorts of products that they just didn't do for the longest time. Just like these ready-made uh, baguettes and sandwiches and all that. My favorite sandwich of theirs is the... what is it? Uh, turkey and egg sandwich. There's a lot of mayo on there. It's sometimes a bit too much, but it's it's wonderful altogether. Costs I think 169 and 149, I believe. And they also got these club sandwiches, which are new ones, and they are not cut. You know, if if this is the bread, they're not cut diagonally. They're cut vertically. Makes it look very fancy. And there's a uh, a paper tissue in there as well, which looks nice. <laughs> I'll definitely try out uh, more of that in the future but this is really the only thing that was left that looked good because the other things you know weren't really my thing and the club sandwiches were out were completely sold um other than just one like mango kind of thing and i'm not really a mango guy i do not like mango all that much i think it's just a, a fruit that isn't needed in, in europe at all so <laughs> after all that rambling let's see one 100 grams, 290 kilocalories, one one of these, 638 kilocalories. I guess this uh, makes for a good, you know, decently sized meal. A quick lunch, get a bit of a paper holder right there. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. I've been talking way too much, but I haven't made a video in quite a while. I'm in my chemistry module right now and it's a pain in the butt, to be honest. And it's not like like you've got a lot of things to do, and but you you know, you know you're know you going to benefit from that in the end. No, most of that I'll never need ever again, and it's just pure sadism what they put into that thing. Anyways, <laughs> we've got chicken pieces. Well... Uh, like this, well, when you hold it like this, it doesn't look like much, but when everything is on one half, it's actually quite quite decent. We've got some kind of remoulade mayo, We've got some paprika in here, some uh, some corn. There's, I think that's that's pickle, probably, and the rest of it is just the same. Okay, that that's not too bad. Let's. It is quite soggy, I have to say that. There's not much elasticity left in the bread, that's unfortunate. But yeah, it, it's not a bad. It, it's, you know, usually when you when you push down on baguette, it just springs out. But, but this right here is a bit more soggy. Let's give this a taste test. Nothing spectacular, but it's all right. Yeah, I mean, the bread is quite soggy. That really takes away a lot of the experience in that eating procedure. And maybe the, the things that are on here just don't suit it as well. It is quite wet from the ingredients, you know, all that remoulade, all that mayo. 
puts quite a bit of the moisture into that thing because it's uh, basically in it, it is trapped imprisoned in this and this whatever that is polycarbonate polyethylene polyethylene terephthalates <laughs> whatever I hate chemistry I absolutely hate it <laughs> So it, it definitely takes up a lot of the moisture because, you know, the driest thing is going to moisten up the most uh, compared to the moisture, relative moisture in the system. So the bread is unfortunately the loser on that one. Maybe this is different with different kinds. They've got different kinds of these baguettes. Some with, I think, uh, salami, some with ham. Maybe I'll try one of those out in the future. This, on the other hand, it, it, it is not bad. Like, if you pay your two euros for this and you say, well, that's my meal, and you get a Coke or a Red Bull or something else for quick lunch, that ain't too bad. It's not like you you, you whip this out and, and have it in your in your nice little present, presentation paper, and you're going to say, oh, this is outright disgusting. At least I do not think that it is. It's not what I... What I enjoy the most, but it's not, not disgusting whatsoever. Maybe some people, some people are very picky about their food. And uh, then you see them buy their clothes for 10 bucks or something uh, every week. And then all those people in Bangladesh and India just uh, are starving. But, but they want to have their proper food. They want to save on the, on the important stuff. <laughs> Anyways, I'll give this, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'll give this a... Mm, difficult, difficult. It might sound like an insult, but I give it a a 5.5 .5 out of 10. I would think it is below average, but when you compare this to other things that they that you see pre-made, those baguettes and all that, baguette is very difficult to achieve properly when you've got that, that kind of moisture in your ingredients regarding the, the toppings or the filling of the thing. So it's very difficult to achieve a crispy or springy baguette. Close to impossible, to be honest. But um, I've eaten much, much worse. Much worse. And, and the ingredients themselves, I mean, the chicken tastes all right. It's okay. It's uh, quite chewy. But it's chicken after all, and and the other stuff. It's it's a bit bland. They could, they they could have put a bit of lettuce on here, just like two leaves spread across. That would be nice. That would up the rating quite a bit. But uh, yeah, that was my rating for the Aldi snack time baguette hähnchen baguette turkey. No 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 not turkey chicken. <laughs> <laughs> my God, it's been a long time since I recorded the video. I can feel it while I'm talking. Anyways, if you like this video, please uh, please leave a like. And I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, goodbye.